Each week, science is taught in about 25,000 primary schools behind closed doors. Today, one teacher has kindly agreed to let our cameras in to share one of her first lessons of the autumn term. Today, year six, electricity. First time with the equipment. That'll be quite interesting. I'm looking for them to develop their communication skills today uh, with discussions in groups and in pairs. I want to gauge really where they're up to and get a good knowledge myself of where we can go from here. You'll notice there's something missing off the board. What's not there that we normally have? What's missing? Madeline? Learning objective. Learning objective's not there. Let's see if somebody at any point for the first ten minutes of the lesson can tell me what that learning objective is going to be. OK, in the middle of your table are some brown envelopes. There is a picture card, and it looks like an actual picture of a component, an electrical component. There is a symbol card, and there is a definition. So there's three cards that will need matching up. A symbol, a picture, and a definition. One of the things I'm looking for today is you using the names of components. That will go, that will go there. Yeah, what is it? There's only three. Um, one that? cell would be that then, wouldn't it? Yeah. Need that and then, then it'd be that, that one. one. It's those. Okay. Which, one's like, which one looks like a buzzer out of those two? We're not sure about these two because these are two batteries and that's a battery. So one on its own is a cell, two or more than two is called a battery. Battery and bulb. One battery. One person in your pair, show me what you've got as your picture, symbol and definition for a motor. Switch. Whole class, well done. With the other people on your desk, I would like you to discuss your bulb choice. That looks like it's the bulb attached to the bottom. That's the bottom of that and that's the bottom of the bulb. Yeah. We're thinking that's a hazard. A hazard? Yeah, because so it's so because the bulb's kind of like a get, warning. Get, gets hot, doesn't it? Okay. Why might I need, instead of drawing perhaps a motor, I use, as you showed me, this symbol. Why might I do that? Emily, what do you think? Because it's quicker. It's quicker? Any other reasons? Maddie? If you were writing um, something down about um, electrical bits, mm -hmm. and um, would well, it bits. just be, well, like bulb or something like, yeah, um, okay. circuits yeah. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, okay. And, and um, could it just be like a, f um, a freehand type thing? Instead of writing motor, you could just do a symbol. It could be. So you can definitely match a component. Yeah. That was the word you were looking for before, a component. Yeah, component. <laughs> to a picture or to an yeah. actual object. OK. If you drew the motor, people might draw the motor differently. And it's because the M with the circle around it we might be um, international. Oh, international brilliant. Sign. The one that we've come to that we're not sure about is our bulb. Some people have chosen this. Some people have chosen this. And I have to say that those of you who had managed to work that one were correct. So, unlucky if you chose that one. I was very pleased with the way you were thinking about it and the way you were trying to sort of justify your choice. Now, if you need to, on your table, make sure that you change your bulb symbol over. What do you now know this symbol to be? It's the buzzer. The buzzer. Good. OK, lesson objective. It's missing. What do we think our lesson objective is going to be? Coral. Is it electric circuits? Something to do with electric circuits, that's a good start. What else can we add to that? John? To identify components of an electrical circuit. To identify components, brilliant. Keyword, fantastic. What do you think, Beth? Um, and, to, and to put them together safely. Safely, I like that idea. Electricity, definitely a safety issue in there, brilliant. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to recognise a circuit symbol 
and you will also be able to use that to construct a circuit accurately and safely. You are the power source. You are our switch. Ah. OK, so Gina, can you show me what you might look like if you were a bulb that did have no electricity running through you and no power source and you weren't working? You're a working bulb now, show me. Fantastic. Right. Mr Cell. Mr Switch. Almost as a partnership if you wish for your circuit to work. Please show me a working circuit, Ben. Excellent. So, what have the rest of you got to think about now? Because your switch is now working. The switch is closed. Well done, Gina. Good stuff. So we pass round. Gina's happy. Somebody switches it off. Fantastic. So the bulbs start working. Gap in the circuit. I would like to see whiteboards. One each. Out. Please draw the correct symbol for a motor. Show me boards. Next one I want you to draw me <coughs> is the symbol for a buzzer. Show me your buzzers. Can I now have a bulb drawn on your boards, please? As correctly as you think the symbol should be drawn. Carol's table, can you please show me your boards? Sophie's <coughs> table. Open switch. <laughs> if this was a switch you could see, would the if it was for, it was if it was for a light, would the light be on or off? Beth, what do you think? Um would it be off because the switch is pointing upwards so the electricity can't get straight through to the bulb. What is there in the circuit that's preventing the electrical current travelling through there? What do you think, John? A gap. A gap. Press that quite firmly, don't you? So there won't be a gap. Soak it. Soak it. Soak it. Yeah, if you don't press it hard enough, what will happen? It won't turn on. That's right, it won't turn on. Good girl. How do you think we're going to connect everything up? What? We're going to make it around the edge. Yeah. We're going to get gonna... these and put them. Right, so we're going to put them around the edge. Okay. And put them around the edge. Okay, right. So we'll have a go then. <laughs> no, I did it wrong. I know, I got it, I got it. Let there be light. <laughs> Let's put the switch in. Come on. Yeah. Next one. With one previous lesson on electricity, Zoe's class have used circuit boards before. However, the key objective here is to see if they have learnt to translate the components on the boards into the symbols in their books. Okay, I have to do that. Switch again. I remember. Goes along the wires and the switch can make a break in it. That's a short. Okay, now. Get in. Now we're going to show that. Okay, let's put. One of these. I've done all these. It was losing electricity, so the bulb was dimmer. So we're going to try the light and the buzzer this time. Okay then. So, okay, then let's see if you can do that then. I'm sure you can. We'll put it there and it'll save us using the wire. Oh yeah, that's true actually, isn't it? Just take Okay. Try the okay, that should work. Oh, the light is not Ah, now, what have, you just, you, what have you just done? We've added another crocodile clip and added it to there. OK, so Zoe has connected. So we've now got a bulb that's working. What do you notice about the brightness of the bulb? It's, 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 not, not, it's not as bright because it's only using one cell. It's only using one cell, fantastic. Yeah. Just grab hold of that buzzer for me. 
Everything working? Yeah. Yes? So what, why do you think that's happened? Because we must have had an electrical circuit, we must have had a current. You've now got almost two, haven't you? Yeah. You've almost created two separate circuits, but running from the same. Fantastic. Let's disconnect before I get a headache. <laughs> Draw that and write me down what you did. Save my balls. Battery. We had an extra battery to try and light the bulb and it didn't work as well. Have you made the battery on a cell? A cell. Thank you. Jack, look at our switch. Those are the questions up on the board. Have a good look. You're going to have a chat with your partner in a minute and I'm going to give you about a minute and a half. You are going to tell me what your partner said. OK. Go. I'll do it first. Yeah, you ask me. One thing you've learned tonight. Um, how to make a swing. One thing you found difficult tonight. Well, I found putting the circuit together quite difficult. <laughs> if there's not much in the cell, there's not much light. Right. I want to, well I've learned how to draw and do the symbols correctly and I found it difficult when we tried to collect them all together. I've learned all the signals, the signs for it and the symbols. And I found difficult how to make the buzzer work and the light at the same time. Although we found out so I know now. What would I like to know next? If we would have been able to add an extra battery with the buzzer, the switch and the light bulb would work. Uh, Lucy? What he'd like to know is how to put the buzzer in. We got it in, but it, they were working at a different times. So oh. if, you, if you put the switch on for the light, the light would work, but the buzzer wouldn't. Because oh. the electric was going up one wire, round the switch and buzzer circuit, <coughs> and they'll put a circuit in by itself and then back down to the same battery. Well, that's definitely something that perhaps we can investigate in the future, isn't it? It's definitely something that we can find an answer yeah. to. Emily! Short circuits give you more power. What do you mean by short? I'm going to ask Rob. What did you mean by shorter, Rob? I meant by, um... You got... You used... You went for the battery... Yep. ..and straight to light, then back to the battery. And what do you think Rob wants... What does Rob say he wants to find out next? Um, how batteries get their power. How batteries have their power inside them. Fantastic. If we manage to get a working circuit today, we can connect to the circuit accurately. The interesting thing will be to see how well we've managed to record it and how well we can recognise our symbols. In Zoe's lesson on circuits and components, she firstly ascertained the children's level of understanding using card matching. Please draw the correct symbol. A motor. The whiteboards provided Zoe with Show a quick words. way of checking the children's progress. You are the power source. She used roleplay to visualise a circuit with cell, switch and bulb. Fantastic. So we've passed around to Gina's happy. The class experimented and then recorded their work as circuit diagrams. Let there be light.